Hello crafters and welcome to Peter P Crafts online craft show brought to you by From Picture to Page You on Paper Craft Show where we nurture your creativity with in-person and online events. Now I'm Michelle Brown, Creative Director of From Picture to Page and I'm so excited that you are here to join us today. Now the Peter P Crafts online craft show is a fantastic chance for you to get these demonstrations in your very own home. You get to have a chat with the retailers, you get to ask questions in real time and then hopefully provide some little inspiration to go and shop online with our retailers or of course dig out what you've already got and see what you can do with it. Now for all the details of this and our upcoming in-person shows, head over to our website from picture to page of beyond.com.au where you can see all the show details, see who's coming up in the program for tomorrow and of course make sure while you're there you're on our email list because those guys get the very first information even before it goes live on Facebook plus all of the special offers that we have. Now, whether you're watching us here live or watching a replay, pop in the comments, say hello, just like Carol has. If you've got any questions, pop them in there as well. And if we don't get to them during the session, myself or our guests will definitely come back and follow them up. Because that's the whole great thing about being here live and free is that you get to continue to ask questions and get some help so that you can continue to create and craft. So today we're very excited to welcome Jen from Peninsula Papercraft Boutique. Hi, Jen. Hi Michelle, hi everybody. It's so good to have you here with us today. How are things down the peninsula today? Thank you, they are nice and windy today. <laughs> it's, it's been a slow day, but I hope everyone's been on at home <laughs> rugged up and watching all these amazing demonstrations as I have in here. The weather certainly has been cooperative for indoor crafting. <laughs> Definitely, it's been really good, but yeah, some fun things happening in some of all of, yeah. All sorts of joys from my kids at school, but yeah, I get to enjoy the afternoon crafting with you guys, so it's exciting. Excellent. Now you were just telling me before we started that you've got a whole heap of new products coming in. Tell us about that. We do. Oh, far out. We <laughs> we have Luminous stamps, all the new stamps and some of the older collection because I love them. Um, we've got the stencil brushes and all uh, restocking all the inks that we've. Um, came out of stock from our sale um, what else have we got we've got Lisa Horton products coming in we've got a whole heap of Chloe's creative cards coming in more house of paper I've got couture creations <laughs> it's, this week is going to be a really busy week um, loading up all of this into our stock and getting ready for paperific in a few weeks so it's exciting um, I'm going to try not to because we're currently in the process of changing over our website and having to catalogue and organise everything and make sure um, we're doing the stock take. Um, yeah, Joe might shoot me, so <laughs> we'll leave it as is and then I might do some rearranging after paperific just before Sandown. Well, a big website's always a It is. So we've had a few issues with our American um, POS system, so we're going to move over to an Australian one. So that's a, that's a good thing. Now also, tell us about your store and what classes that you run. So we have a physical store. We're open six days. It's on the morning to Peninsula in Somerville. It's easy to get to from Peninsula Link if you're coming down from the city or coming up from the peninsula. You can come across from Gippsland. We're really easy to find. We're just by Aldi, so you can send your husbands in there to shop <laughs> while you're coming here. We have lots of customers that do that. Um, we're right across the road from a train station as well, and the trains are back to running. So if thank goodness for that. <laughs> um, but if you want to train it down, you can, because we're just across the road. Um, as I said, yeah, we're open six days, Monday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And classes we're running, we run a scrap and chat every second Thursday. So it's, details are on our calendar on our website. And Jo has her art journal class once a month. Oh, and she's got a special class coming up in September. So have a look in the calendar and, and check that out. So today is one of the, trying to answer one of the questions we get a lot from our customers and that is creating masculine cards. It's really hard and I just wanted to show you that it, it doesn't have to be that difficult and we can make some nice quick and easy fun cards with things 
that you can purchase from us or you may just be able to use what you've got at home in your stash. Excellent. Well, let's jump right in. No worries. Excellent. So I'm really looking forward to Jen's take on this. You know, sometimes we do find it sort of easy to get ourselves stuck. And if we're doing something a little bit different, it can be a bit challenging. So it is good to use what we've got as well as understanding new ways of doing things. And then we can um, expand our repertoire. So I think Jen's ready. She just give me a quick thumbs up. We are ready to go. Two thumbs up. Let's jump in. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Take it away. No worries. All right. So we'll go through, as I said, I have, we have, Joe and I have got 10% off our stencil range this weekend. So if you use the code P2P in your cart, once you've added your stencils, that 10% will come off. So it includes the clearance ones, but everything else we have, they're available. We have Minte, um, we've got, um, TCW, Crafters Cupboard, we've got some Scrap FX stencils, some Chloe stencils, and there's a, a good range. So I've got um, our stamps from Boutique Stamps here. Oh no, it looks like Jen's frozen. So just give me a minute and we'll get her back on. Okay, it looks like we've got Jen back. Yes, we've got you. Sorry about that. Jump in. That's okay. That was really weird. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> just okay. Just myself for hours and we wouldn't have known. <laughs> I could have been. All right. So, um, here are some of the uh, samples that I have. So this stencil is from Minte. This here is something quick and easy. So to think when we're doing men's cards and why we have trouble is that we don't, they're not something that we make for ourselves. So it's usually when we find it a bit difficult and we tend to go through things um, that are more specific to their likes and dislikes, or hopefully not their dislikes, but their likes, their interests, um, like football or golf or um, tennis, things like that. So we try to relate things like that. For a women's card, we tend to use florals and fairies and we can use a range of things, but men's don't have to be that difficult. So one of the things that I found and tips and tricks that I found online is to come up with a color palette. Have a look and see what you can use to create your cards. So even using your Distress Oxides and coming up with some colour blends. And these ones that I'm using today, I've actually um, picked up from Christina Werner. If you go onto her website, fantastic load of colour blend ideas with the different Distress Oxide colours. Um, so great to use for backgrounds, but then you can use those colours again to create um, your cards. So, some of the techniques I've used on these cards pull off my display. So this one here, I've cut the squares and I've just gone with my scoreboard and just scored all of those lines to create a really simple, effective, beautiful card that would be fantastic for any male. Then That's you've got something cool. more woodsy. 
It is. So it's just yeah, using your uh, your stencil and then just cutting panels and inking the edges and then having it up on foam tape. So it's just just have fun with it. But don't be afraid, like I said, to bring in some unusual colours that you wouldn't think for masculines. Don't be afraid of your pinks and your purples. Like, they love rainbows too. <laughs> so when we're inking up and creating our cards, you want to use a range of blending tools. So you might have the Ranger blending tools. I've got the Lavinia stamps. Um, blending stencil brushes. Um, also have the, the Chloe's new brushes that she's bought out as well. So you can use whatever you've got at home to create along with me and then creating a stencil. So if we we'll make it really quick and simple. So this is one of the Minte stencils. It's really nice. But we can go, okay, um, I can use this range of colours. We can start with our squeeze lemonade. Grab our stencil brush. So I have a number of stencil brushes, but I have them in colour families, uh, which seem to work really well for me. Here we go. So just adding in your colour onto your background. It's something that you could go in there and just stick with one colour if you wanted to. Go from light to dark. Something similar to this one where I've gone in on the stencil some places really dark and then gone really light on others. So have some fun with it. Add some of our greens. So we're going to go in with mowed lawn in the middle. Inking that up and then through the stencil. You can see I haven't taped my stencil down. I'm very slack in that regard but if you need to tape it down or use your magnets on the magnet boards that also helps. And to create those colour blends to make sure that they're blended really nicely, just come back in with your yellow and then go back over the top. That way it stops those straight lines of colour happening. And then we're going to finish with Rustic Wilderness on the end. So this colour combination kind of reminds me of Cricut. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's just like the Aussie colours. So that's why, like, if you know the male's favourite colours, you can use that as your colour palette. If you don't, that's when you can just have a bit of fun, a bit of play. But such a simple, so pretty. So then just adding a simple sentiment onto that, and there's your card done. And it, to make, to highlight those, I always like to bring in a Sharpie to on the edge. So it's a tip that I got from Joe Rice from Lavinia Stamps actually. She just runs it down the edge of the paper oh, and you get a beautiful cool. border without, but sometimes like if we ink the edges it can sort of go onto our creation and it can upset. But this is just, you, you're running it beside your pound stock, not on top of it. And then it just stands out that little bit more. Excellent. I do love that stencil too. That's a very unique one. It's a really good one. I like it. So I actually used it in a, um, a card that I made for a customer request. She asked for a, a gamer card for her son for an 18th. And I used this as in the background, just in a grey tone. So that's what you can think of like when you're looking at colour palette of like cool colours or warm colours or your grey tones, like your metallics. So that's where when you're thinking about creating your card, the best thing is like to think about choose a theme. So your galaxy theme or gardening, geometric, 
galaxy textured rustic you know there's lots of things that aren't specific to sports or an interest something like that and then choose your technique so stenciling you could use mixed media you could um, with lots of texture paste and paints um, you could use your gel plates um, you could what other techniques you can just use papers there's so many different options you can do so always remember did you know that there is a right side and a wrong side to a stencil I did not know this so on the stencils because they're cut um, at a certain angle there is actually a right side and usually there is a marking or a number which you can tell but I can't tell on the mint stencils <laughs> them they'll actually have like their words printed on the f on the top like down here they'll have oh there it is it's a really light um but it's got tcw on there so you know that that is the right side of the stencil so when you're layering and especially if you're painting if it wants to go underneath um if it's the wrong way up then it'll go underneath the stencil so go <laughs> I did not know every day. <laughs> so it's really fun. But then so once you've got your, your theme, you know where you're going, you want your technique and what you're going to use, your inks, your paints, your sprays, and then choose your colour palette. So, you know, and like I said, don't be afraid of using purples and pinks and they're not going to it's not going to turn it into a not being a masculine card, if that makes any sense. I don't know where I'm going with that, but <laughs> creating, um, I don't think this is the right one for those color palettes. But what if we did something like this? Okay, this one's really fun. So this is like a, just simple dots. It's kind of looks like a confetti. So if we stick with, going, I'm gonna go the mustard seed first. Going over the top. Again, you want to go right in there so you get some dark spots, you get some light spots, and it creates that interest without you having to really do much, which is always handy. When, especially when you want to do like a really quick car. It's great fun. Okay, so we've got our yellow base, which is awesome. We can go in with our next colour. Do you know what? I forgot to bring my paper towel with me. So we'll improvise. <laughs> and we can improvise. There we go. Then we're going to line this up and we're going to go in a slightly different space to where the yellow was. And then we're going to go in with right persimmon. So I hope you've got your stencils and your inks out and you're giving this a go at home. You can get some great card fronts ready to add to your stash to give away to your friends and family. I certainly am impressed with your stencil brushes. They look like lots of fun. <gasps> I love the Lavinia stencil brushes. I can't wait to get them back into stock. They are probably my favourite sort of blending brush. Look at that, so pretty. And do a quick clean again. You improvise when you're on live. <laughs> Thankfully, you start with the light colour and you're going darker, so it's less of a problem. Yep. <laughs> so then again, finding a different spot to add your third colour. It's fun because you can see where you've gone and then grab your. So this one's Villainous Potion. It's one of the newer colours that Tim Holtz bought out. And this is really fun. It's something that you don't have to think too about. Which is, sometimes we want to get fancy and technical and create beautiful masterpieces on our cards, which we will be doing tomorrow <laughs> with Chloe's creative cards. But today I wanted to just show you that you can just do quick and simple and it makes such an effective cut. 
but who would have thought like those three colors together you could make and just adding just a simple sentiment just like the happy birthday just on a strip you can do it um, vertically or horizontally or you can have thinking of you whatever you wanted to add to it but it's such a beautiful card base and that's what you want but it just it sort of suits those masculine tones and creating that's what we definitely want to to be getting and again like I always like marking mine with the sharpie just gonna make it makes it stand out so just was asking, how are the yep. to use with acrylic I guess she means acrylic paints oh they're fantastic to use with paints we were using them all on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. <laughs> that went really quickly um, at Joe's art journal class. Um, we were using all of these stencils in that and they work beautifully and they clean really, really lovely. Um, I better get on to cleaning these before Joe comes in tomorrow or I'll be in trouble. But we'll do that later. <laughs> Oh, this is what I do. This is my my stencil creations when I was doing gel printing. It is very stuck on there. <laughs> but it makes it easier to see and easier to find. Well, there is that. So <laughs> it's good fun. I love this stencil. My favourite. I actually made something for my husband with this one because it always reminds me of my husband. Um, not that he's that that <laughs> fit and tan and that physique, but. It just because I love him um, <laughs> but that's something that I I made that one was in this blend so it was the black suit uncharted mariner and evergreen bow and then just adding that stencil over the top with um, black soot to make so, so it's so simple in adding a sentiment it's such a, a really fun easy way and another one I did was this one here so this is uh, chip sapphire pine needles and salvage patina so it's a beautiful blend and with that same stencil that i used here i've just actually sprayed water through the stencil and then done so it's just a bit of a grungy look but again such a simple way of creating a an easy male card. And because so, the oxide, so it reacted. It reacted with the water with the oxide. So um, most of the inks that we stock are water reactive in regards to that. So we've got the Lisa Horton uh, Cloud Nine inks. We have the Lavinia Elements inks coming back into stock, and the Distress Oxides. They're all water reactive inks, so they're great fun to play with. Um, but need to remember to make sure that your fingers are dry because otherwise you'll end up with fingerprints. Um, that sounds like one of those can you think that out tips? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so if you wash your hands, like make sure you dry them very, very carefully. Um, so <laughs> it is a lot of fun. But I hope this has just given you some ideas. So that's that blend that I was talking about. So squeeze lemonade, mowed lawn and rustic wilderness. It looks like the Aussie cricket uniform um, to me. So if there's a, a mad cricketer, because um, I, well, I might have to do a, a Matilda's one because they're a little different. I think they had a... Matilda's have gone quite teal this year. Yeah, they're very teal, aren't they? Um, but there's some other ones there as well. So um, it's been a lot of fun so hopefully that has just given you some inspiration in how to create masculine cards without having to stress too much you know this I think would be great for a gardener something like that so you don't have to go so specific in their interests and their hobbies um, to create a card just use what you've got at home use your stencils create um, a background something you know creating your blends and then being able to add a stencil over the top 
to create a really simple card. And you can go big, you can do your, like six by six size cards, or like Chloe's does with her eight by eight. So there's your six by eight six. Eight by eight cards are just a whole nother level. <laughs> we'll be doing one tomorrow. They are so fun. Um, but <laughs> when we are wanting to go with just a standard size, this is, you know, something quick and easy and fun and just using what you've got in your stash. Um, but if you do want to add some more beautiful stencils, please do so. <laughs> this weekend you get 10% off. I love that one. So I was, like, Minte stencils are quite pricey, but I really like them. Um, but we've got some great uh, stencils from TCW as well and some layering stencils from them as they've got like A4 sheet layering stencils so you're just going from panel to panel that's really really nice um, so there you go everybody I hope you've got some good inspiration and that you're going to go and make masculine style cards with all of your stencils and inks at home excellent well let's get you back on and we can wrap up no worries. Excellent. So I hope that has given you some ideas. As Jen said, sometimes we think that a masculine card has to have a golfing person on it or a car or something specific, but just using what we've got, using some more of those abstract ones and then adding the colours and then doing the shading can really create a really effective result. So Jen, thank you so much for that. You're very welcome. I really did enjoy oh, that. Really. Which is your favourite one? Um, I don't know. I think they're all my favourite. <laughs> I love the I love the gardening one, but like I was proud of them because I'm like I'm not traditionally a card maker. It's something that I I learnt through COVID, um, and yeah, I love it. I love being able to create with something simple as ink and stencils. Like who knew? <laughs> Oh, they're fantastic brushes. But if, you know, the Ranger ink blending tools is what you've got used to, then go for those. Because um, I've got chubby hands. I love the, the really ch chubby handles of the of the stencil brushes from Lavinia. Um, but they've got smaller ones as well when you're working with um, smaller areas. Um, but we'll be using, I'll show the Chloe's ones tomorrow when we use those. So... Yes. Just remind us about the special that you've got for this weekend. So this weekend, 10% off all our stencils, excluding clearance. Just add P2P in the coupon code section in your cart. Well, fantastic. We look forward to catching up with you again soon. Yay. We'll see you all tomorrow. Well, I hope that has certainly given you some ideas and a little bit of an understanding about Jen and more about the Peninsula Paper Craft Boutique. Like she said, she's got it in a real bricks and mortar store as well as the online store. And the link to the online store is somewhere near this video. Or of course, you could just search the Peninsula Paper Craft Boutique for all that. Then remember to pop the code in to get that discount due, um, that's valid until tomorrow on the weekend for Sunday night. So thank you so much for Jen and we're really looking forward to um, seeing what she comes up with tomorrow, those eight inch by eight inch cards. Sounds amazing. So as always, if you've got any other questions, pop them in the comments. Make sure you give us a like, a thumbs up, share us with your crafting friends and continue to be inspired. And if you do create some gorgeous cards or even if you just want to share whatever you're making, head over to our Facebook group, Paper Craft Posse, and we would love to see what you've been working on. So this is Michelle signing off. I hope you have a crafty day.